the battle or siege of Adrianople, Bulgarian, comma Serbian, comma Turkish, Edern Kuzatmas, was fought during the First Balkan War, beginning in mid-November 1912 and ending on 26 March 1913 with the capture of Edern, Adrianople, by the Bulgarian Second Army. The victorious end of the siege was considered an enormous military success because the defences of city were carefully developed by leading German siege experts and were dubbed undefeatable. The Bulgarian army, after five months of siege and two bold night attacks, took the Ottoman stronghold. One early use of an airplane for bombing took place during the siege. The Bulgarians dropped special hand grenades from one or more airplanes in an effort to cause panic among Turkish soldiers. Many young Bulgarian officers and professionals who took part in this decisive battle of the First Balkan War, later played important roles in the politics, culture, commerce and industry of Bulgaria. Siege artillery arriving before Adrianople. 3 November 1912 Serbian artillery at siege The final battle consisted of two night attacks. Preparations for the battle included covering all metal parts of the uniforms and weapons with tissue, in order to eliminate any shine or noise. The several armies that took part in the siege were put under joint command, creating a prototype of a front. Some light artillery pieces towed by horses followed the advancing units playing the role of infantry support guns. Attempts were made to perturb all Ottomans' radio communications to isolate and demoralize the besieged. Beginning on March 24, 1913 the external fortifications were captured in one night, and in the next night the fortress itself fell into Bulgarian hands. Early in the morning of March 26, 1913 the commander of the fortress, Memtsuk Rupasha, surrendered to the Serbian army and thus ended the siege of Adrianople. After the surrender, large parts of the city, especially the houses of Muslims and Jews, were subjected to looting for three days. However, it is disputed who actually carried out the looting. Some accounts accuse the Bulgarian army and other sources accuse the local Greek population. The Turkish prisoners of war were badly treated and some of them killed. According to the Carnegie report there were made two principal charges on the Bulgarians. 1. They behaved with great cruelty and brutality toward the Ottoman prisoners of war. 2. The Bulgarian authorities permitted the pillaging of the property of Edirne's Turkish population for three days after the city's surrender. The Bulgarian achievements up to this point were fairly summarized by a British war correspondent. A nation with a population of less than 5 million and a military budget of less than 2 million pounds per annum placed in the field within 14 days of mobilization an army of 400,000 men, and in the course of four weeks moved that army over 160 miles in hostile territory, captured one fortress and invested another fought and won two great battles against the available armed strength of a nation of 20 million inhabitants and stopped only at the gates of the hostile capital. With the exception of the Japanese and Gurkhas, the Bulgarians alone of all troops go into battle with the fixed intention of killing at least one enemy. Serbian units involved were the Second Army under command of General, later Vojvoda, equivalent to Field Marshal, Stepa Stepanovic, two divisions and some support units, and heavy artillery. 38 siege cannons and howitzers of 120 and 150 mm purchased from French Schneiderkanet factory in 1908, dispatched because the Bulgarians lacked heavy artillery, though they were well supplied with Krupp designed 75 mm field artillery. The loss of Eden delivered the final decisive blow on the Ottoman army and brought to a close the First Balkan War. Serbian forces under the command of General Stepa Stepanovic arrived on 6 November 1912. In place Mustafa Pasha, railway station outside of Adrianople. General Stepanovic immediately reported to the Supreme Commander General Nikola Ivanov. Serbian Second Army was formed from Timok Division without 14 regiment. 2nd Danube Division reinforced with 4 Supernumerary Regiment of the 1st Call and 2nd Drino Artillery Division. There was a total of 47,275 Serbian troops with 72 artillery guns, 
4,142 horses and oxen and 3,046 cars. Coming of Serbian soldiers greatly improved the morale of Bulgarian troops at Adrianople. Both Serbian divisions were immediately sent to the front. Timok division strengthened by the Bulgarian regiment occupied the northwestern sector between the rivers of Maritsu and Tunji. Its sector was 15 kilometers long. Danube division occupied 5 kilometers long western sector between the Maritsa and Ida rivers. Combined brigade was formed from Timok Cavalry Regiment and Bulgarian Guard Cavalry Regiment to scout Maritsa Valley.